We've had a pretty busy year, I guess. Yep. We released the album in, well, nearly a year ago now, on Halloween last year, and then we did like a little launch tour. Then we did a tour in January with a couple of bands from France, Birds in Row. And, uh, then we went over to Asia for a few dates in like Thailand and um, Malaysia, and we played Hamasonic Festival in Jakarta with Lamb of God and Mayhem and a bunch of crazy bands. That is pretty mental, dude. How was that? Vibes. Yeah, there was like 30,000 people there. Yeah, it was crazy. Was that the biggest show you've ever played? Yeah, definitely. Do you feel like there's a good kind of thing happening with Australian heavy music at the moment? Like a kind of, I was saying, it's like Gothenburg kind of, you know, that's like a good community vibe of like a lot of people doing well and kind of feeling inspired off each other. And yeah. yeah, I'd say so. Like um, all the bands that we've been touring with this year, like at least within Australia mainly, all the Australian bands, I mean, that we've been touring with are, like, people that we've been friends with for a while and stuff, and uh, it's cool to kind of, you know, have all these bands coming up together, and we're kind of almost, I guess, riding on some coattails at the moment, but I think... Um, you're throwing in. Like, yeah. you're, in the, you're in the game. You're throwing punches, man. There's never been so many heavy bands and, like, Australian heavy bands in the arias and all of that, like... So. For once, like the the, the met, like the hard rock or metal category is actually metal bands. Yeah, like DZ so Death Rays someone, have won it twice. Yeah. Like it was no offense to DZ Death Rays, but they never belonged in that category. Yeah. Like, well, it's like Jethro well. Tull beat Metallica, and it was just like. It's actually kind of cool that it could actually be like King Parrot. As like, yeah. I feel like Slats would give a really good acceptance speech. <laughs> yeah, like, I he really any of them up there, and they'd give good. Acceptance. <laughs> There's a lot of talent. Yeah. yeah. Did you write the lyrics, or you uh, came in and kind of sung were lyrics? Already written. Most yeah. of them were. Were, were yours? Like, yeah, they were. Cool. What's your story? What's the story? My, uh, my background, I, I went to a Catholic school and I, I, when I was younger, when my primary school, and then I heard Slayer and it was all over from there, I guess. <laughs> that was the gateway drug. Well, yeah, that, that was kind of the thing that made me start questioning a lot of the things um, that is wrong with religion and that is wrong with, with the world because of religion. And, and that's why music's really important for that reason. And I think I was talking to the Die Out guys about it's really is actually important to talk about shit that actually matters because yeah. there's so much music that is just garbage. Yeah. I really wanted Unholy to, to kind of stand for something outside of just a collection of songs. So on some level, it's almost a conceptual album um, based around, I guess, a kind of an attack on religion or the church. I think some of my, at least my interpretation of some of it is more like there's some songs that are kind of just like painting a, like pictures that like use parts of the bible and history and like you know a war between heaven and hell so there's some fantasy sort of mixed in with the criticism as well and just like just using, great story. using brutal image religious imagery and yeah. stuff is it's it the, weird singing yeah. someone else's songs or yeah this is the Not first like yeah this is the first album i've been i've had a few bands this is the first release i've ever done where i haven't written the lyrics myself it's still like i, I still really attached to the lyrics i think so uh, we were kind of crushed. We, we didn't know what to do next. We hit up Locke and we're like, do you want to sing on it? Because I'd heard a couple of his bands and we kind of, uh, I, I've listened to a bunch of his bands that I didn't know he was a part of. And then uh, he came aboard and, and we went back in the studio and redid all the vocals and, and wow. it came out a million times better. And We've got a, a headline, little headline run to finish the year off in December and then we're going to retreat for a while and get, to a the, cave. get the next album done. 